I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for season 3, episode 23, the season 3 finale for Supergirl. We finally reached the episode number 23. I have to be honest, I don't, I'm not a fan of uh, uh, shows with this many episodes because you get a lot of filler episodes and like they drag the storyline too long and it's like, mm -mm. they should have, I don't know, 20, 16. I think they will do great with 16, but I think next season also has 20 episodes or 20 something episodes. That's not good. Um, but anyways, I'm excited because this isn't a Supergirl, you know, has its ups and downs. It's not the perfect show uh, that everyone loves. There's always, you know, the infights between the fandom and, you know, shippers that you know, you know what happens on the Supergirl fandom, and um, you know, I, I have to be honest, I did have enjoyed this uh, season, mainly because of Sam Rain. Uh, I think that th that storyline has been the strongest one on this season. I have a feeling that, look, this is me hoping that this is what will happen in this episode, uh, but I have a feeling that um, they went in because I watched the Comic Con um, interviews back last year, all the Comic Con interviews, and they describe Rain as something that honestly doesn't match what we saw. I feel like going in uh, into the season, they discover how good um, Odette is at playing both characters. And I feel like what with what happened in the previous episode, having Rain not being the end game of the season, in a way, you know, because they were able to separate uh, Sam and Rain, I think that that wasn't their intention. I think that their intention was to kill uh, or at least elim eliminate or like in prison or something uh, the main villain of the season, which is Rain. But since the fans love Sam and love uh, Oded, uh, they have kind of like go through another route and decided not to kill Sam and, and, and make her stay. That is what I want. I honestly, Supergirl struggles with building characters up. It will be a mistake for them to leave, to make our girl leave. I will, I will, to I will be a mess if they kill off Sam. Um, so yeah, I hope that she stays. That is that is what I'm hoping. I hope that she stays, and I hope that uh, we get to see uh, more of her in season four. Um, but yeah, I mean, up, that that has been the strongest storyline. Then you have really dull moments um, uh, with the ships. Like I still don't understand um, the whole love triangle with Monel and Kara and Imra and. You know, if you want them to be together, then just break up, make him seriously break up with his wife and let him be happy with Kara. Uh, but that didn't happen and, you know, it it lets to people say that it's cheating, uh, which if you think about it, you, you might say it is, but at the same time, it kind of, it's not. So it's all in that gray area when it should have been just done with it. Like, I don't like the fact that they left it to interpretation, which leads to people fighting about whether he is a cheater or not, you know? And, and it's, it's it really sucks, because you have built him up. That is really cheating on the character, to be honest, because uh, Muna has changed completely uh, on this season, and there, there has been a lot of improvement in his character, and also in the way the writers have handled his story without eclipsing other storylines. Now, Kara was the center of the attention during the first half of the season, but she hasn't been much of, other than being Supergirl, but Kara as Kara. I mean, we don't get to see her being a reporter. Like, there's a lot of things to improve in that aspect, you know? Uh, but anyways, I will talk a lot more at the end of the season, at the end of the season, at the end of this episode, when I do my review rant at the end. I will talk and explain everything, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out in case you don't get to the end. <laughs> but anyways, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited as well, and give it a lot of thumbs up. If you love Supergirl, 
subscribe, comment on all those good things. If you want to support the channel, you can go to Patreon and as part of the reward system that you have on Patreon, uh, you get full on-call reaction for this episode of Supergirl. So if you want to watch this uh, full reaction without any breaks between the episode, you can do that by going to Patreon. Link will be in the description down below. And that's about it. Let's just begin with the season 3 finale for Supergirl. Here we go. Oh. Oh yes! She's learning fast! Aww. Oh, there's Superman! Okay, he's working on it, okay? Thankfully, they made a reference. Did he just an orgasm? What the fuck? Okay, that was totally unnecessary, but okay. Surf! What the fuck are they doing? Not a single Star Wars? <laughs> hey, I haven't seen anything either, so I've been judged. Oh, that is good. Aww. Take your time! <laughs> I'm like, the Earth has died, but I'm like, take your time, man. Hey, it's okay. I had a good life. Yes, you did. Ah! Don't cry! I'm not you will Love. never be ready. You will be happy. Yes. My son. Oh my god! This is so sad! Oh! That's it? With his, with his space granddad? Oh, Sean! Sacrifice, oh my god, what a hero! Eddie Buckley? No. What? Wait, wait, wait. What, is, what is she doing here? I'm trying to help you. Oh, really? It's not safe. Oh, this bitch is still alive? In fact, I lied to you. It means that she'd never, she was never in love. I'm sorry. Okay. So, time made her realize shit too. And she deserves better. I mean, not better, but like someone who loves her, not just this pretend marriage. My like, girl, I found no love. <gasps> you're right. There are two. Okay, that one was clear. Isn't it? Definitely. No. No. Wait. It's what? the wrong. Well, this is the power. Oh, I trust her. I failed you as a mother. Oh, I'm not feeling you as a ghost. <laughs> and I've lived with such regret ever since. Oh hear me is my love for you. Please, you have to believe me. I don't understand how this is happening, but okay. There you go. She trusts her. If this kills her, oh my god. Brainy! Hey, Brainy. Oh, Brainy. You don't say that you are. Your boyfriend! That's your boyfriend! So sorry, we just got it. Could you give us a moment where it's the oh, no. in the region? This involves Wynn as well. What? Involved, involves me. Oh, yes. This we is that threesome that the, the love triangle we deserve. <laughs> Just kidding, okay? Killing has And I can no longer stay there. You can no longer see the future? The future needs okay. heroes. Welcome. The future needs leaders. Oh! Needs to go. Legion and save the AIs. What? He's gonna become an engineer? Uh, That's amazing. <laughs> what? No. The future's most groundbreaking technology. Oh, whoa! Look at my boy. Count now. Wow, Win. That is amazing, dude. The future needs you. Oh, this is the perfect way to. Because I know that Jeremy Jordan is not returning as a regular next season. This is a perfect way. This is what he deserves. Not really. He deserves a storyline here, but, you know, he can take... He, they could have killed him, so this is better. 
How is this bitch alive? As I knew my daughter would. We you must mean? Her in the culture. I'm talking about Alex. Man, we... I know she will be. She's a woman. I should, like, I ship any, com this is amazing, because Kyler, like Alex, I can ship her with literally anyone. I ship her, I used to ship her with Astra, with Vasquez, with Lucy, now I ship her with Sam, with Lena, even with Allura, I, let's go there, I, just, I will ship it. Damn, Ruby. It took me forever to find Maggie. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to hope that I fall in love again with somebody who wants to have kids? Or do I try and do this on my own? And if so, um, how? This is all just a moot point. <laughs> no, wait! Um, uh, I get the, her, her, like, I get that she wants to have a kid. I always do that, I don't know why. But I get that she wants to have a kid, but also, like, is, is it so important to her to have it, like, she wants it now, now? Like, is she, like, chill for a bit and, like, try to make everything in order so she can have the kid? What, it, why is she giving up to love, to love, you know? She could find someone who wants to have a kid, or someone who already has one! Sam! What you want, and that's half the battle. <laughs> Supporting so girlfriend! People like you and me, we do what it takes to get what we want. Yeah, true. And when we defeat Rain, you have no doubt you'll figure it out. Oh my god, it's a furry girlfriend, I love it! Wait, you want to move to the future? Now it just needs to get married. It's, it's... Can we sing James too? Maybe they have something for him to do in the legion, like... Insane? I had this woman with her kid, and she was, she was in danger. Panicking. Is there a gift, like just... a pretend to care gift? I want to use it. That's feel too hard. I don't kill. Not Are you so... fucking with me, Kara? There's gotta be another way. It's well, wait, it's, we oh. to you said it's she's irritating. Throwing against me. We do what we must. Yeah, true. People have sacrificed to keep this planet safe. Okay. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Someone out in the region. Don't you cry. That is so sweet. Don't I'm glad she had closure with her mom. Aww. I really hope she's not here. It's okay. That is so sweet. It's okay. Oh! Oh, yeah! What? what? <laughs> Look at Alex. Okay! Mom, you're super. Yes! They went after Rain and the witches. Don't worry, I've got this. Oh, shit! She just went. Whoa! That's. That's badass. Oh, no, he's alive. But still. <gasps> oh, I tied my 
less men than my father. I learned nothing. I still came in fighting like a man on her. No, it's my fault. No, it's not your fault. You wouldn't have known I came in here. I lost track of what I stand for. Sarah's thunder same in another fucking year. What have I done? Everyone is dead. Wait, she's gonna go back in time? This never turns out well. This one's for real. Oh shit! Oh. oh. This one's for Patricia. And this one. Really looks so proud. This one's for me. Yes! Oh my god! So what? She's gonna drink the shit? I don't understand shit right now. What have you done to me? Her demons. Are we sure she can get out? You did it! You did it! You did see her! Y'all's my girl! Okay, but this car doesn't have the ring. Wait, did they just create like a paradox or something? What the fuck happened? I'm still intrigued by the underwear that he wears. I don't know why. <laughs> well, you did it. You wear a thong? Just like a great friend of you. Went down to the underworld and... Being a hero, that's... Keep like Lena. That's who I am. <laughs> Particularly tough days. <laughs> you know, for a moment... Tuffy's going. He's really going. That's good. I need to go back. Aww. That's what a hero is me. It's, it's about. I can't abandon the Legion. Of course not. For the world that I... You wouldn't be the man you are if you did. True. Men I admire so much. Oh, That is sad. I guess we both got some saving to do. That is good. That is... I mean, for Caramel it's not, but... Hey, here guys. Where have they been? In a closet? Doing something? Hey! Oh my goodness. Oh, Ooh, oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you're a pretty great roomie. So. Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Look at how she's looking at Alex! Stop it! Like, no. Keep going, but like, stop. Like, oh my god, I shipped them so much. I have found another Agent Rain fic that I'm reading, currently in reading. It's titled, I'm gonna tell you, because I'm obsessed uh, with it. Uh, where is it? I have a lot of... Don't close your eyes. Like, I'm loving it. But look at her, like, coming back to the episode, look at her, how she's like, I'm gonna repeat that little part, sorry. Hey, Rumi. So, <laughs> look at her. All your blood tests came back, and they are normal. There is no trace of any Kryptonian DNA. You are a hundred percent human. Wait, how is she a hundred percent human? She was born in Krypton. What? Wait, she. I know that she's a bioengineer thing. So they use human, a human. Um, Disguise or some I don't know science shit. So they use human things to make her. I don't know. I'm stupid. Thank you. I don't know, but I don't understand how. Oh, oh, family. Oh, Alex is like sad because she's saying goodbye to Ruby. No more playing mom. Does she actually get hey. one of her own? You're a hero. Yes, she it's is. In your blood. I can't resign. Yeah, true. Because I want to promote you. <gasps> this year I have had the most priceless gift. Uh, I want you to run this place. Oh my god. Be the director. Yeah. And you can't be a mother. Aww. All on your own terms. That is true. Oh my god. Directed Danbert. Yas. Daddy Yas. Congratulations, director. Come on. Mom, I want you to be my girlfriend. Mom, this is my girlfriend.
little loser who I'm in love with. Now that that's out in the open, let's plan the wedding. <sighs> Just say this. Oh, look at her! Oh my god. She looks so... Oh. Bless the Lord for lesbian... I mean, Lena looks like... No, you don't. I'm so glad that none of it will be left on Earth. Oh, Lena's oh, looking like suspicious. If she has, does she has more? I bet she does. She saw something incredible and she'd go back. Aww. Me too, Papa Bear. Aww. <laughs> She's so cute. Do not tell Clark I taught you that. Alex, don't cry, Alex. Aww. shipping them until the end of my days okay let's just do it again Wait. okay guys that was the end of season 3 episode 23 the season 3 finale for Supergirl I feel like a lot of things happen in this episode too fast uh, but it was a really entertaining episode I cannot deny it um, but I, I cannot shake this feeling that they might have had, had planned a different ending because some things don't add up and when I say that is, you know, Sam ultimately staying even though I don't know if she, if the actress, if Odette is staying for season 4 she's gonna have a recurring role or something like that, I don't know uh, she's, she's alive, she's staying in National City uh, she's human, which I don't get. Um, so I feel like, I feel like this is not necessarily what they planned. And also, you have to remember that they gave Supergirl a nine-week break. And Supergirl, out of all the DC shows, was the last one to wrap its season. Because they, it looked like they needed to reshoot some things and like it took a lot more time to do so since I feel from the thing that happened with the executive producer Lehman, uh, it needed to change some things. Uh, 
I feel like, you know, I'm not a caramel fan. I'm not gonna stand here and say, oh my god, I feel like uh, caramel deserves better and things like that. No, I have seen progress in Monel and up until this point I wouldn't have mind to have caramel together. Thing for me as as a non-shipper of that couple is that there was too many unnecessary drama that at the end of the day didn't even pay off and that is shitty but also this is Supergirl every other storyline in the show is shitty so it's just like I don't know at, at least I think at this point we can agree that the Supergirl writers sometimes are all over the place and they don't know how to handle properly these storylines and they make rational decisions and they decide to put filler episodes like the gun control one so close to the season finale that leaves no room for other things that were needed during the season. Um, I understand why Jeremy Jordan is leaving. It's like Wayne and his technology and like it's it's easy replaceable and that's what they did. They switched Wayne, they went back with Wayne to the future and they brought Brainiac, Brainiac 5, Brainy here to our Earth and uh, that was good. I mean that's not good, it's, I mean, it's, it's just like it's you see how character is important to the storyline or not when they make these decisions, when it's so easy to take them off and replace them with other characters and it doesn't necessarily affect the main storyline. It happened with Floriana and with Samers, it didn't affect anything during this uh, season after she left. Like, we didn't need her, Alice continued with her life, moving on from her, we have seen her struggle, we have seen her mention her over and over again and like, same thing I'm guessing will happen with, with uh, Wynn's character. We do know that he's not a regular but he's a recurring character, a recurring role and as any other actor that goes from a regular series regular to a recurring role eventually he will have to move on to other shows uh, or do Broadway because we know that Jeremy sings uh, beautifully so it is what it is you know I, I don't think they have given Wynn much to do uh, but leaving on by the fact that we know that his technology, his uh, inventions and all that will be helpful for so many people. That is at least it's a, a, a good way to make him go, you know? Uh, he, like I said, doesn't necessarily affect the life of anyone on the show. So, like I said, that's why it's easy to replace him with someone who also knows about te technology. It's not like he's the only one here. So. It was easy and he's gone and now we have Brainy who not only is a 12 level intellect he also you know he's a little he's part of the Legion and he you know has a few things that he can bring into the storyline for next season um, so yeah I mean I, I don't feel like oh my god I'm so sad about it it's just like it's neat it's not like we see win that much so it's okay um, what else? Well, that we ended up with that. Then we have uh, the whole Kara, and like I was talking about Kara in Monel. I think that, you know, all the unnecessary drama to end it like that, to end it as tragic as him just, because I, I, I just read on Twitter that he is really going. He's not coming back for season four. So why the necessity to keep him pinned over Kara. Like, it wouldn't have been even better to not... to have him really support Kara and, and find them a relationship when there's nothing romantically involved between any of them. Like, you know, because it feels like really cheap writing and really stupid, if you ask me. To have him, like, love Kara so much, and yes, of course, it wouldn't have add up if he's been told there's no leader for the Legion in the future. I can go back or I die, you have to go back. 
it will have been stupid if he will say, oh, you know what? I found love. Bye. Like, it will have been shitty. But the unnecessary drama between Car and Monel, it's just, like, dumb, in my opinion. At least Car, I feel like even though she did have feelings, she, by knowing that he was married, that he moved on, that, you know, that it wasn't the end of the world if he never came back or if he came back to the future, uh... And having her realize that, you know, it hurts, but she will move on. At least that is something good, I, I guess. But it's just unnecessary to keep this drama for no reason. I'm also glad that we get Imra saying, I realize, you know, that I thought I loved you. And I mean, I she does love him, but it's not like that is the love of her life. And like, there's a reason why I hid, I hid things from you. And like, we're awesome as partners in like in the legion and things like that but you know we're not meant to be and 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 I deserve better and she just you know practically said that's it you know and that's good because Monel also doesn't have feelings for her and at least they they got that out for them you know to stop living a lie uh in the future so that's good but still I feel like you know with Caramel they could have done way better than they did way better than this just stupid unnecessary drama that they created with the love triangle that was never there and it was just like you know I don't know but at least at least I think that you know you can say a lot of things about Mo now but you cannot deny the change on him you know you cannot deny that he became the hero he he thought he could be and he is making decisions not just because he wants to get into Kara's pants like in season 2 but rather because he knows his place he knows where uh, he's, he's a lot more mature now so that's good that's good uh, unnecessary drama they could have played off as yeah we loved each other but we moved on and we are great friends and we support each other and there's still a lot of love but you know uh uh it wasn't our time and we weren't meant to be there was if if you could say that there wasn't i feel like they were just you know not trying to upset the caramel fandom but at the end of the day they i'm pretty sure they're upset about this you know what i'm saying because it's still it's like well, baiting them, but they queer bait, they bait, and ultimately they don't give good storylines uh, for neither. I think that this is the first time you can agree, like both sides of the fandom can agree that the writers don't handle storylines well. Um, but yeah, that's it with Caramel. He is not coming back for season. The actor who plays Monel, Chris Wood who's a cutie. He's not coming back for season 4. I'm guessing a part of the fandom is upset about that and the other part of the fandom must be really happy because some people, you know, they weren't able to let go of things that happened in season 2 which is, you know, everyone watches the show in their own way, have their own interpretation. Some people understand the growth, some people just don't get to go past what he did and it's okay, you know, everyone uh, can if you're respectful enough and you share your thoughts with other people and have important meaningful uh, conversations where you don't insult people then that is a good thing when you start you know insulting people and things like that that really doesn't represent the majority of the fandom because I have you know back in season two and now this season three I have had a lot of conversations with uh, caramel fans and they're polite and they express their feelings and and have there's other parts that yes they're really aggressive i'm not gonna lie because i have also encountered those but i'd rather stay with the ones who you know are smart enough to point out uh good things about him and have a nice conversation and that's good you know that's always good it, same goes with the supercore fandom there's, you know, because if you make me choose one or the other, I will, I ship more Supercore than Caramel. I'm, I'm okay with Caramel, but there's bad seeds in every single fandom, so yeah, it is what it is, but 
It's gonna be interesting to see the interactions now that he is truly gone. It's gonna be interesting. Um, yeah, well, the Sam uh, Rain thing, I don't understand well. And I understand also that this show is a fantasy show, it kind of deals with sci-fi, so a lot of things are possible. But what I like about sci-fi and when you take that, that thing is that, you know, it has to make sense. And it doesn't make sense to me. Some things doesn't, don't make sense. For instance, number, number uno. Oh! Okay, number uno. Um, I don't say why I say number oh. I like that's stupid but what was I saying okay so Sam is she was born in Krypton so she's Kryptonian but she's a bioengineer I uh, think person bioengineer Kryptonian meaning that inside of Sam there's a combination of human and uh, Kryptonian. Her Kryptonian side was rain. So when they split, there was one human and one Kryptonian. But they were still linked because they were both alive. Right? So when some drink from the fountain, fountain of whatever, she became stronger, strong enough to defeat Rain, and to, for his, for her DNA, to overwrite the Kryptonian side, right? Is that how it is? And that you know when she when when <laughs> when Rain went into the fountain, and she completely then that is when she completely got erased and the entanglement or the shit that they had where her cells were still on 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 Sam they disappear right I, I I think that's it that's why Sam is Kryptonian and she I mean why Sam is human and she doesn't have powers am I right I'm a kiss I otherwise I don't understand how is it that she's human and not Kryptonian because I still feel like she was born in Krypton so she's Kryptonian you know is an environmental factors also affect the birth of someone <laughs> like but she's bioengineer so kind of you know you can kind of go with the sci-fi and I feel like what I just explained that don't ask me to explain it again because I just lost it like I don't understand it anymore but I think that's the explanation for this. Now, I'm glad that, that they didn't kill her off, but I'm also conflicted because I don't want her to go. But what can they give Sam to do on season four for her to come back if she doesn't have powers? What her storyline will be? I know, she can be uh, Alex's love, in like all seriousness, she could be. So we can have her and we can you know, have our season uh, four with AJ Rain. I will totally go for it. But if that, if the writers are too stupid, because this is this is what I feel the super writers, Supergirl writers, do. This is like they they tell you caramel is this thing or lames is the the ship. But the minute people start shipping the ladies, they will do anything in their power to put them as far away from each other. The actresses still manage to make scenes gay, or at least we make them gay, but they will, like, the Supergirl writers will make sure they are as far away as possible and also make them enemies. Like, for instance, what happened with Supergirl this entire season. With the fact that, you know, uh, Supergirl Kara and Lena had, didn't have much scenes together. Also, Car, uh, Supergirl and, and Lena were fighting all the time, you know, the ants and all that, which I appreciate. I still ship them. But, you know, that's what they will try to do. So, how much do I expect for them to listen to the fans or to do the right thing or to do the thing that makes sense? 
zero. I don't trust them. I don't. I know that they will. Oh, you want to eat your rain? Because I'm pretty well aware. Apparently, Jessica Quiller is her name. They have monthly meetings. Do you don't think that social media comes into that conversation every month? They know. They must know that people ship Agent Rain. I mean, Kyler knows. They know as well. Trust me, they know. But they will be. Oh, you ship Agent Agent Rain. Okay, never gonna happen. And they pull them away, and like they make you enough reasons for you to not ship them. It's like they are afraid, or like I just, or they are homophobics. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But. Yeah, so, but in, 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 if they are not going to put them together, what other thing can you give Sam for season four? Sam and Ruby, because they come as a, as a pack, you know, and uh, what can they give her? Like, because Sam didn't have a moment where she was like, oh, I want to be a superhero, like, well, she kind of did because she went out safe. She knew, that she knew that she was the only one who could defeat Rain. Uh, but I think that, I don't know, it didn't give me the idea that Sam is going, it's, re, it's remorseful for things that happen and she's sad uh, uh, and, and like she wants to make up for the bad things that Rain did. They could totally pull that off by making her, I don't know who, I guess I don't know who she could be, but I don't know, any other, like a superhero that will help Kara. I think that, you know, we have seen Kara teaming up with Monel this season, but it will be really amazing to have to see Kara teaching someone else to uh, stand for the things that she stands for, and you know. Uh, but I, I don't know if they will do it. I don't know. Maybe that that's that's a chance. But other than that, what else can they give Sam for Odette to stay? I don't know. Uh, what else? Well, Alex is uh, her necessity to have a child right now. It's really like I understand her her idea of being a mom, and I'm I understand as well that she's not, you know, 22, so she can wait. No, she's 20, almost 30. Well, I guess she's 30 by now. Because when she met um, Maggie, she was almost 30, and that was almost two years ago, so maybe she's 30 already, so her clock is ticking for her, okay? And she wants to have that, and you know, I understand her, uh, that she came to the realization that she wants more from life, and that she wants a kid, and all that, I understand that, but I also, uh, it's like a little bit out of character for Alex to be this impulsive, and yeah, you want to have a kid, yes, that's understandable, but also, are you closing up the idea that you will find someone who wants... Like, it's not like you date. Like, Alex hasn't date at all, other than Sarah Lynn's. She hasn't date anyone, and like, she's like, Oh my god, maybe I won't find anyone. They get on Tinder so you can try to find someone, you know what I mean? Because she, she doesn't leave the D.O., but she expects for her to find herself someone who will want the same things. Like, it doesn't add up, okay? In, and I understand her 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 need to have a child, but does it have to be in this precise moment? I mean, plan things ahead. She lives in an apartment that doesn't even have a room. And she's looking for a child. Where the fuck is she gonna put the child in? Like, I'm getting upset. I don't know why I'm getting upset. But it's for real. Like, there are so many things that she has. And she's been like, oh, I want a kid. It's not like she wants a cat. It's not that easy. Get a cat. Let's see if you can manage to to live with the cat and help him and whatever. I don't know. Be realistic. I feel like she's not, like, I understand. Yes, that's the reason why I broke up with Maggie. Because you want to have a family. And, hey, being a single parent, I'm a single parent, so it, it's nothing like, oh, no, you have to find yourself a partner. But there's a lot of things that come in before that. And she's like, I feel like she's just closing up to the idea that she's never going to find someone and she needs to do it this by herself. And how is she going to do it? Like, like, chill for a moment. Chill for a moment and, like, analyze the situation. Get on a few Tinder dates. Maybe you will find someone who wants the same things for you. 
It's not difficult. Not all lesbians or bisexuals are afraid or not wanted to have kids like Maggie. Like, like it, it's just, it just like, it, 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 I understand that they didn't want to let go of the fact that it was a big deal, but like, chill. Like, seriously, Alex, chill. You found out you were a lesbian like two years ago, okay? Take your time to explore shit, you know? And like, it's just... Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting upset, but it's just like, it, it. I don't know if you guys understand or if you're in the same page as I am, but it's just like, I understand Alex, but just take your time, it's, it's not, there is no rush, there is literally no rush, especially if she wants to, there's a rush if she wants to have the babies, because she has to be, you know, healthy and, 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 you know, everything working fine for her to have the child. But if she if she if she's if, if she is going to adopt, take your fucking time. Okay? The children are not going anywhere. Just chill for a minute. Uh but anyways. What else? Lena. How many times are going are we going to go with that? Is Lena is evil? Is she good? Is she evil? Is she good? Every time that you ask on season 2, is she evil? Is she good? She was good. Season 2, is she evil? Is she good? She's good. Season three, every season, are we gonna go in every season asking ourselves, like, can you write something else for Lena? Like, seriously, write something else for Lena. Because this whole thing, because she's a Luther, it's stupid. Okay, you, Lena has proved herself so many times that she's a good person. Like any other person in the world, she has secrets, she has demons, she has, because we all do. So stop putting her as she's doing something bad with the shit, okay? I get that she was supposed to give all back, but at the same time, she's a scientist with two doctorish, I think that's what Katie said. Uh, so she wants to investigate. She saw like a research there, and she's gonna investigate, and she's gonna do some, sh some good shit. And even if she turns evil, I'm standing here supporting her, because why not? That, that is my love for Lena. Okay, but come up with better ideas with the whole, is she good, is she evil? We don't need to keep asking this question over and over and over again because it's tiring. Season 2 was the same shit. All of season 3, we still been asking ourselves this. Now we're going to go into season 4 and 3 seasons in a row you're going to ask me if she's good or bad? This is bad writing. Like seriously, come up with something else. It's not that complicated, okay? Think for a minute. If you don't have ideas, go into Archive of Our Own. There's a lot of f really good fan fiction where you can see that Lean is not evil, okay? Anyways, is that it? Is that... Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> the end... Oh, the first, before the ending. Jean's dad, a true hero. Without saying he's a hero, he's a hero. He saved the world. He gave everything to his son, and now his son is going to live by his word. Like, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. A good way to say goodbye to an amazing character who we have had an amazing storyline with Martian Manhunter and with Jean in this season. I hope that next season, even though he's not longer the director, because Alex is the director, um, we get... We get uh, more of him, and we don't forget about him. I'm not going to talk about James, because she, he's boring as hell for me so I don't want to say bad things either because I feel like I don't care so anyways moving on the end I didn't understand then in that moment when they were touching hands Supergirl Sam and Rain did they created another version of Supergirl who is strong a Kryptonian and why was she naked? Because do you remember when when Kara when Kara when Rain and Sam got separated, Sam ended up being naked. And this Kara 
It's also naked. Is she gonna be evil? Oh my god, I will love that. I will love that because also that will give the actress who plays Supergirl more things to do. Because I feel like they completely forgot this season that she's a reporter. Completely forgot. Like, has she do done something on Catco? Oh, besides having a party when she was going away? Like, other than that, what has she done? Like, seriously. Um, so, I'm guessing that that is maybe an evil version of Kara, and that is going to be super interesting to see. And, yeah. I don't have anything else to say, because I don't, I don't read comics, so I don't know much about it. And... Um, like I said, I just don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm excited for season four. I will continue watching Supergirl uh, because I'm, you know, uh, I'm shipping Agent Rain. And I also kind of low-key ship Agent Corp, which I, I, I feel like they have more possibilities of happening. But also the writers hate us, so I don't think they will do it. It will be so stupid to have Kyler audition with someone else to play her love interest and I'm so afraid because season four will introduce a trans character a trans a female trans character right I'm scared as hell because out of all the shows I watch I feel like Supergirl is the one who can do the worst job at rip, like at having a storyline like that without making it the episode of the week and like just giving the girl kid crap, you know. So, I don't know, I'm scared for that. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> we'll see what they give us for season four. Uh, I hope that Alex finds love, she deserves it, and finds someone who wants the same things in life as her. Uh, that could be Lena. It could be Sam. It will be so easy if it will be Sam. Uh, but no, of course not. Uh, oh, that sweet moment between Sam and her mother. Really said that she got a little bit of closure with her. I'm glad also that she still called her Patricia and she didn't switch to call her mom. That would be kind of like, okay, but she didn't. She still called her Patricia. Um, that was good. And that's it. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to continue rambling. And this episode was really good. Uh, some unnecessary things and some like, well, like Monel leaving and all that. Uh, but yeah, I wish the actor Chris Wood uh, great success in his career. You know, he definitely had a lot of backlash for his character. Some people who are not able to understand that Chris Wood is not Monel. Okay, so I will never support anyone who insults any of the actors or anything. Uh, I myself, for instance, I don't like the guy who plays James, and I don't like James, but you don't see me going to Twitter or Instagram to insult him. Because I'm not a nice, I'm, I'm a nice person. I don't do that. It's stupid to do that. Uh, I don't support him, but I, it's not like I, I'm gonna go and like insult people, and that's what they have been doing to Chris. It's understandable that he's leaving. Also, the writers, I think he ha they had noticed that a lot of people hate Monel for what he did on season 2. But also, what he did on season 2 had a lot to do with what happened behind the scenes with the scandal that there was on set. And the changes they had to do. And you clearly see the before and after, you know. Um, so, yeah. I mean, he, the actor, Chris Wood, didn't, des didn't deserve anyone deserves the backlash that they got uh, and I hope that uh, he does great and if he comes back is I'm um, gonna be 100% happy because he is a cutie and he ha his character has changed so much and he's funny and, and I think he added a lot of good things not a lot but like a few good things uh, but it's not his fault it's mainly you know who was directing uh, that show at that time, making him the person, like Monel, the person he was. But that is a character, that is not Chris Wood. And I think some people need to understand that. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for joining me in this amazing ride that it was Supergirl. I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you guys continue supporting my Supergirl reactions when I come back for season four. 
which I don't know when it is, and I think they have changed the times. I think Supergirl is now gonna go on a Sunday, which is like why? But anyways, I have to, I, I'm I'm gonna watch it either way. So yeah, ah, that's it. Thank you so much. How, how long have I ranted? Like for half an hour. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why I do this. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting me. I love every single one of you, and I will see you next time for another reaction video for Supergirl. Mwah. Bye, guys. Yeah.